Collections The Parthenon Gallery The Frieze Interpretation 1. As no description of the frieze survives from antiquity, the question of the meaning of the sculpture has been a persistent and unresolved one. The first published attempted interpretation belongs to Syriac of Ancona in the 15th century AD who referred to it as the Victories of Athens in the time of Pericles. What is now the orthodox view of the piece, however, namely that it depicts the greater Panathenaic procession from Eleusis to Athens was mooted by Stuart and Rivette in the second volume of their Antiquities of Athens, 1787. Subsequent interpretations have largely built on this theory even if they disallow that a temple sculpture could represent a contemporary event rather than a mythological or a historical one. It has only been in recent years that an alternative thesis in which the frieze depicts the founding myth of the city of Athens instead of the festival pomp has emerged. The contention that the scene is a document of Athena's festival is fraught with problems. Later sources indicate that a number of classes of individual who performed a role in the procession are not present in the frieze. These include the hoplites, the allies in the Delian League, the Skiaphori or umbrella bearers, the female Hydraphori, only male Hydra bearers are portrayed, Thetis, slaves, medics, the Panathenaic ship and some would suggest the Canaferos, though there is evidence that she is accounted for. That what we now see was meant to be a generic image of the religious festival is problematic since no other temple sculpture depicts a contemporary event involving mortals.